Hey, what's up, guys? This is uh, Brett Sandy with uh, Work Nation Organization. Okay. Um, also, I'm a coach at San Antonio High School. Um, I'm here to teach you guys about winning and losing. Okay, but before we get on the conversation about winning and losing, um, I'm going to let you guys know what Work Nation is, is all about. Uh, Work Nation is a sports organization that is here really to change the world. In reality, legitimately, I am here to change the world, fellas. I am legitly here to change the world, okay? Because I, I believe in order to change the world, you got you to gotta start with the youth. You got to start with the youth, and you got to take away all bad habits when they're young. Because bad habits are created when you're young. You got to teach them right away about good habits, hard work, dedication, um, how to be a good, uh, a good teammate, stuff like that. Okay, but yes, yeah, so Work Nation is a, it's also a clothing brand. I'm working on a logo. I already have a logo. Okay, I have T-shirts already made. All right, um, but yeah, it's a it's a business um, sports organization. It's also a, a clothing line or, uh, that that around it as well. All right, um, I'm I'm here to take over the the sports world with Work Nation. All right, uh, I'm working on starting a club baseball team. I'm working on starting a club basketball team. All right, we already have multiple um, adult uh, adult basketball teams. All right, but uh, adults are already adults, okay? The youth is, is where we got to change it. I know it won't happen just like that, but hey, you got to plant that seed, okay? Um, I want you, I would like you guys to follow our Instagram page, um, at WorkNation underscore organization. We also have a Facebook page I would like you guys to follow. So go ahead and do that. So again, this conversation that we're going to be do, having right here is a... Uh, um, about winning and losing. It's about winning and losing. All right, and you got you have to know how to do both. You can't just know how to win. You got to know how to lose as well. You really, really have to know how to lose. I believe that you have to know how to lose more than more than you win. Because there's some people once you get a few losses, it's just all downhill from there. All right, you you need to learn learn how to take those losses and, and come back even stronger. You got to learn how to do that. And I've been learning a lot about losing uh, from uh, from Gary V. I'm not sure if you guys know who that guy is. Uh, his name is Gary Vaynerchuk. All right, he's a, a great. Um, he's really good with social media stuff like that. I've learned a lot from from watching his videos and 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 just learning a lot from him. So you have to learn how to win with class and lose with honor. It can go either way. You can also win with honor and lose with class. Okay, so again, winning, it's very, very easy when you start winning to start patting yourself on the back. It's very easy to start doing that. And it's, it's very easy to feel good when you're doing good, when you're doing well. But what are you going to do when you're faced through, it, through, it, through that adversity? What are you going to do when you're not having a good game? Or also, when I'm going through, the, when I'm speaking through this video, I'm also talking about business as well. I'm not that into business, but I, I'm understanding a business here and there because I'm starting my clothing brand and I'm starting this, the club baseball and club basketball. To me, that's a business. And also, it's a sports team that you have to learn how to do that as well. I have friends who have very, very solid business that are doing very well. In business and in sports, you have to learn how to battle through adversity. You have to know how to win. You have to know how to lose. All right, so when it comes to winning, like I said, it's very easy to start patting yourself on the back. Maybe sometimes you'll start winning. It's, it's very easy to feel good while you're winning. But what are you going to do through adversity? So when you're winning, keep it pushing. Don't sit back. Maybe after you have a good game, after you went 4 for 4, or after you freaking went 8 for 8 on, 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 on a, uh, in your basketball game. Uh, because I, I know basketball and I know baseball. I know, all, I know how to teach a team. I know how to, I know how to build a team. Soccer and football, I'm not that well with techniques. Basketball and baseball, I am very well with techniques. But I, no, no matter what kind of sport it is, I know how to build a team. I know how to keep a team confident. All right, even when it comes to business as well. So it's very easy to start patting yourself on the back when you're winning. You can't do that. You got to keep it pushing. Keep it. If you have a game where you went four for four in, in baseball, or if you have a game where you went eight for eight at uh, uh, shooting. Okay, keep it going. I dare you to go to the gym after that good game and, and keep it going. Even even the professionals 
they're still doing this till this day after they have a solid game kobe bryant was the best at it whether he lost or whether he won i bet money he was in the gym after that game especially after a loss actually but after a win don't start patting yourself on the back don't sit back and say all right cool i'm doing good i don't gotta work no more no don't forget how you got there by all that hard work don't forget about that do not forget about all the hard work you got there to start winning so you have to know how to win you have to know how to lose don't start patting yourself on the back when it comes to winning keep it pushing keep 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 getting better keep learning keep thinking of yourself as as a teacher and as a student you got to think like a teacher so you understand what what the coach is trying to tell you or in business you understand what what the business is telling you if you're your own boss if you have a boss you got to understand what your boss is telling you all right when it comes to losing I always tell my teams that we don't lose around here. It's either we win or we learn. I freaking love losing. That's crazy, right? It's very crazy to hear that me say that I love losing. Okay? I don't love losing where I'm hoping I lose this game. No way. No, 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 no. Hell no. I am we, we are training our ass off. I am training my players ass off to win every single game. And I am confident in every single game that we go to that we're gonna win. I am very, very confident because we are training our guys the right way. We are treating them how to have extremely, I mean, we are training them on how to have extreme amount of work ethic and we are teaching them the right techniques in order to get the job done during the game when it comes to the physical part. When it, but you have to understand that there's a mental part as well. There's a mental part as well. The mental part is huge when it comes to losing and when it comes to adversity. Okay, when, when I take losing as it's showing your vulnerabilities. When you lose, it's showing you what you have to work on, what you gotta fix. Okay, I like I said, losing, I have learned to love and I've learned that from Gary Vaynerchuk. I have learned that from him because he says it all the time. You have to know how to lose. You have to, you have to learn how to take those hits and come back 10 times stronger Make sure those hits don't happen again. The other day I was watching a very, very cold documentary on Conor McGregor um, where he, um, so Conor McGregor, he's, he wasn't a really good, he's not a good wrestler. Conor McGregor's in UFC, okay? He's not a very good wrestler, but he is good at jiu-jitsu, he is good at boxing, okay? But he is a horrible wrestler. So I, in a documentary that I was watching of him, I'm not sure which fight it was, and I'm not sure which fighter it was, but his opponent was a really, really good wrestler. And his opponent beat Conor McGregor off wrestling. He beat him off wrestling. And Conor McGregor was on the ground, his opponent on top of him. His opponent was elbowing him like crazy in the face, punching him in the face. Conor McGregor was freaking done. Conor McGregor eventually tap, tapped out because he was on the ground for so long, getting ground to pound, ground to pound, that he couldn't take it no more. You want to know what Conor McGregor did in his training after that fight? He put himself in that situation every time when he was training. You gotta put yourself in those situations so you're used to it. I freaking love this quote right here. You better listen to this. You need to start being comfortable with being uncomfortable. Get yourself in those uncomfortable situations so it's not comf so you make it comfortable where it's not uncomfortable anymore. Okay, you need to be to a, a place as an athlete and as a business owner where you are comfortable with the uncomfortable situations. You need to start being comfortable with that, okay? And that's how you're gonna be able to learn to get past those hits or get past those losses because you have to take the loss. You need to take the loss like a man, okay, and fix it right away, okay? Every single time I had a bad game or a bad loss, I'd get my ass in that cage and do T work or do batting practice in the cage. I do that all day. Even after I won, I was like, cool, I won. All right, I'm going to keep it going. That means my, my work ethic has been working. So I'm going to keep it going. I'm not going to sit back, chill, pat myself on the back, and chill out, play, for, play freaking Fortnite. No way. I'm going to get back in that cage, do more teamwork, more teamwork, or if you're a pitcher, throw more bullpens or you know, get your arm right. Don't sit back after winning and don't sulk and don't think it's the end of the world after a loss. Because it, it just happens a lot. You put a lot, you, you, you prove that you have a lot of work ethic on your own. You're doing a lot of stuff on your own. Sometimes you're doing a you're doing hundred swings a day off the tee 
or 100 jump shots a day in the gym. And then when you get to the game, you're off. Hey, that's going to happen. You can't give up. You got to show the game that you're going to keep it pushing. I love, you have to understand the game. I like to think of the game as it's, it's a human being, it's a person. When, even when it comes to business as well, or even just life. To me, in life, it's God. When it comes to the game, I, I'm weird like that. I think of it as a person. I think of the game as it's a person. Okay, so you have to respect the game, and you got to show that you got to show the game that you're gonna keep it pushing, whether you're winning or whether you're losing. Okay, so those losses, you have to know how to lose more than you win, because you want to know something. In in, in in games, especially baseball, basketball, regardless of what sport it is, games are won because that's a team that makes the least mistakes. Games are lost more than they're won. Here, listen to this one more time. Games are lost more than they are won. The team that makes the most mistakes and the most errors is the team that's going to lose. The team that makes the least mistakes and the least errors is the team that's going to win usually. Okay? You have to understand this as well. In life, life wants you to lose. Life wants you to lose. You have to overcome life trying to make you lose. In the game, when it comes to sports, the game itself is trying to make both teams lose. You have to learn how to come out on top, survival of the fittest. How, that's what show a really good team. When the game's trying to make both teams lose, you as a, as, a, as a team, you have to come out on top. Even when the game's trying to make you lose. I tell my team that all the time. Hey, the game wants you to lose, but the game will reward you if you're going to work hard and if you're going to battle through adversity. It's a mindset as well. It's a mindset. Okay, you got to have the right mindset. Okay, you can't show you can't show that you're up. So if you, after a loss, you can't just show like, hey, yeah, I'm up. You know, you got to have the right mindset. Like, oh, I'm okay. I'm gonna keep it going. You just have to learn how to fix it when it comes to your techniques, when it comes to just your strate strategic. Hard work. That's how you fix your losses. Figure out what how, figure out what it is you did to lose that game, and work on it like crazy. Me as a coach, when I see us lose a game, and I understand why we lost that game, we're freaking fixing it in practice the next day. The next day, we are working on that on that certain thing that the reason why we lost that game. Maybe sometimes it's not fielding a ground ball. Then we're gonna take a hundred ground balls in practice the next day. If it comes to not throwing strikes as a pitcher, we're going to do drills that works on our accuracy, where it works on throwing strikes the right way. When it comes to basketball, if you didn't make, if you didn't make that game-winning shot with, 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 with two seconds on the clock, guess what? We're going to do that same thing in practice. If you miss that shot with two seconds on the clock, you're doing suicides. You're doing suicides. Okay, you got to have game-like situations in practice. Game-like competitive situations in practice. That way, when it comes to the game, you're used to it. And that goes back to the, the thing I was talking about, the Conor McGregor documentary, where he put himself in that situation, uh, a ground-and-pound wrestler during training because he got beat the first time when he faced a really good wrestler. Okay, you got to put yourself in competitive situations. You got to put yourself in the situations where you're usually not comfortable with, so that way it starts to become comfortable. Not uncomfortable. All right. So again, learn from your losses. Don't sulk about it. Don't sulk about your losses. Stay up. Stay lifted. Okay. Chest up. Head up. Always stay tough. To me, you never want to show opponent that you're not feeling it. Don't show the opponent that you're not feeling it. You better show that opponent that nothing ever can break you. Even if you made, even if you struck out four times, even if you made four errors, nothing's gonna break you. You have to understand that, as a player and as a person in life, you gotta show people and show yourself mainly, show yourself mainly that nothing's gonna break you. You're gonna take all the hits in life, and nothing is ever gonna freaking break you. You have to feel that in your heart. You have to feel that in your brain. That nothing ever gonna freaking break you. 
you're going to freaking stay tough. Understand that, especially in sports. Because to me, baseball will crumble you up, chew you up, put you in your mouth, chew you up, spit you out, and stomp on you. Stomp on you. Maybe sometimes they'll freaking get you, give you a pat on the back. Sometimes they'll give, let you have a hit. Sometimes they'll let you have a great game. But in baseball, you are getting out 70% of the time. Okay, in reality, all hitters in baseball are horrible hitters in reality. They're, they're 30% and that's a good batting average. That's a batting average of 300. Okay, and, and re, even professionals are horrible hitters. The best hitter in baseball is a horrible hitter. That's what's crazy. Very, very crazy. The best hitter in baseball in the MLB is a horrible hitter. Okay, so you have to learn how to stay tough. Stay tough. Don't soak after strikeout. Don't soak after a five ball. Don't soak after a ground out. Okay, hang tough because you're only every at bat is a new life. You need to go up there with an extreme amount of confidence no matter what. That's the very, very first thing I teach my guys before I teach them about techniques. As I teach them, you better have that freaking confidence. It's called inner confidence. Okay, you got to have that inner confidence. There's a difference between cockiness and confidence. I call it inner confidence. You got you to you gotta know inside your heart, inside your brain, that, that you can succeed. And you want to know how you really, really gain confidence? Is by doing the right things in practice. You got to do the right things in practice, fellas. You have to do the right things in practice. A quote that I heard from, from, a, from, from one of my uh, old coaches, okay, was, you always hear, practice makes perfect. To me, that's not completely true. Because what happens if you practice shitty? What happens if you have a horrible coach and doesn't know what type of drills to do? Or what happens if you're not a, a player who works hard? So just because you practice doesn't mean it's going to make it perfect. So listen to this. Perfect practice makes perfect. You have to aim for perfection. You won't get you you, you probably won't get there cuz guess what? Nobody's perfect. You've heard that before. You won't get there. But you have to aim for perfection. You'll get freaking close. You'll get pretty damn close if you're aim, aiming for perfection. All right, you have to aim for it. Just like I'm just like when I say aim for the top, aim for the top. You'll get pretty damn close. I'll guarantee you that. All right? So again, this this video right here was about winning and losing. So when it comes to winning, don't start patting yourself on the back. Okay? And don't get cocky after wins. Because the game will hit you with a reality check. You guys see it before when we're in basketball. You guys call them heat checks. Say you make four, four threes in a row. Four or five threes in a row. You're shooting like crazy. You're shooting like crazy. You're making it like crazy. A lot of people that the made okay, like I said, they'll make four four three pointers in a row, and they'll just keep shooting after that, keep shooting after that, and they'll start missing after that. It's called the heat check. Okay, don't just don't just stay there with the threes, stay there with the threes. Hey, after you make four threes in a row, hit them with a pump fake, boom, take them to the hole, take them to the rack. Okay, you gotta understand that. You gotta understand that. Okay, when it comes to baseball, um, it's the same thing. It's the very, very same thing, all right? It'll hit you with a reality check. You're going four for four, two games in a row. Don't start getting cocky. Don't start saying, yeah, hell yeah, I'm the shit. Don't start saying that. Stay humble. Stay humble, okay? Because he who praises, praises himself will be humbled. And he who humbles himself will be praised. You need to understand that. Okay, because the game will hit you with a reality check, whether it's in life, whether it's on the basketball court, whether it's on the baseball court, or any sport you're doing. The game will hit you with a reality check if you're starting to get cocky. Don't get cocky. Stay humble when it comes to winning. When it comes to losing, learn from your losses. Don't sulk. Don't start thinking shit. Like, Don't start getting riled up. Don't get riled up in your head. Hang tough. Figure out what you have to do to fix those losses. It's to me, I love saying strategic hard work. Strategize your training. Strategize your hard work. Strategize your techniques to, to make sure you can hit the ball uh, a, a good percentage of the time or field, field every ground ball 
every ground ball, because to me, every ground ball should be an out. Okay, fielding a ground ball is way easier than hitting a ball, hitting a pitcher. In sports, hitting a hitting a a a, a pitcher is the hardest thing to do in sports. I guarantee you that. I you'll see a lot of baseball players be able to play a lot of sports, but you won't be able to see a football player play baseball because it's very very hard to hit 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 a hit a hit a baseball from a pitcher throwing freaking 85 90 miles per hour. Okay, so again. When it comes to winning, don't get cocky. Don't pat yourself on the back. Stay humble. When it comes to losing, learn from your losses. Hang tough. Okay? Remember what I said. We don't lose around here. We either win or we learn. All right, guys. So thank you for watching this video. I really appreciate it. I hope you guys love this video. All right? You guys watching on YouTube, hit that subscribe button. Okay? We actually, uh, I play, uh, I play, uh, I don't play. I coach at San Antonio High School. It's in San Bernardino. Come check us out. Look on maxpeps.com. You can check out our schedule. Come check me out. Come, come talk to us. See how, I, see how I react with my team. Follow our Instagram page, at WorkNation underscore organization. We have a Facebook page, WorkNation. Okay. I Again, WorkNation is, is a brand. It's a sports brand that is here to change the world. It's here to change the sports world. I'm here to, not even just the sports world, I am here to change the world, fellas. And all you gotta do is plant the seed and we'll get it going. Because you can change the world with the youth. I guarantee you that. Alright? So again, hope you guys love this. This is Work Nation. And we're out. You guys have a great day. Hope you guys love the video.